a manufacturing company performs a quality control analysis on the ceramic tile it produces. It produces a tile in batches of 24 pieces, so every box has 24 pieces. In the quality control analysis, the company tests three pieces of the tile per batch. So from that box of 24, they're going to pull three pieces at random. Suppose a batch of 24 tiles has four defective tiles. So we already know that this batch has four defective. What is the probability that exactly one of the three tested tiles is defective? Since we are forming groups of a certain size, this is a combination. So a combination counts how many groups of a certain size you could come up with. They told us that there were 24 pieces per batch, and they told us there were four defectives. So that means there's 20 that are not defective. Notice the total has to be 24. From here, from this batch, we're going to select three pieces of tiles at random. What is the probability one is defective? Well, since this is a probability, we know the denominator would be the total number of groups of three that you could come up with from the 24 tiles that are in a batch. So the bottom number of a probability always registers the total amount of whatever you're talking. So we're here, we're forming groups of three and there's 24 tiles. So how many groups of three can you come up with? The numerator always matches the probability you're looking for. So we're looking for one defective. So we need to describe taking one defective tile. So notice, we already know that there's four that are defective. We're taking one because that's the probability we're looking for. So how many groups of one can you form from, from four tiles? That will, this will count that. We need two more tiles. Remember, we're taking three. So this accounts for one of them. There's two more. So this other two, they would have to come from the non-defective tiles. Notice there were 20 were not defective. 20 were not defective from that group. We'll take the other two. So the defective plus the two non-defective forms the three that we're taking from the batch. That's the numerator. The denominator takes the 24 tiles and forms groups of three and counts how many groups of three can we form from the 24 tiles. Notice the denominator doesn't care whether it's defective or non defective. It just counts how many is the total num number of groups of three that you could form from 24 tiles. You perform this division with your calculator and it gives you this probability. This is the probability of getting one defective. So that's about a 38% chance if you change it to a percent of getting one defective.